What's going on? My name is Dan. I'm here with Keen Ramps and today I'm going to be teaching you a trick that you might not know. We have an obstacle that teaches you how to do it very, very well and that's a wally. Our kicker, uh, which is not just like a launch ramp and a kicker, but also uh, has the addition of this wally cap. Now the reason that it has this wally cap aside from being able to wally it is stability. See, since it's angled down like this, it doesn't wobble as much. If you go to do a blunt stall, it's not gonna wanna tip up on you like a lot of other kicker amps do. Uh, so it's both function and fashion. Uh, so what's so great about this Wally cap is the fact that it is not completely vert. It is slightly slanted. It is not super tall, but it is steep enough to teach you everything you need to know about Wallys. Now a Wally is when you do a wall ride, but off the corner of something. So. A wall ride would be basically, I come up on this and I come back down off the same obstacle. A wally is essentially the combination of a wall ride and an ollie, hence wally, I guess, I don't know. So you're gonna be hitting it at an angle. It is much easier to go off of it backside, which means your toes are pointing this way and you're gonna go that way. And you're gonna hit it and then float off the corner. Now, something very important that I will say about this trick, a very, very early mistake that I see a lot of people make is, when they try this trick, you try to ollie. Do not ollie. If you try to ollie, the board will leave your feet, you'll hit the wall, you'll stop, or your board will flip over. It is not an ollie at all. It is very much an aggressive incline. Even if it's a vertical wall, you treat it like a very steep quarter pipe almost that you're trying to ride off the corner of. So, the first thing you should do when approaching it, is know that the angle that you're gonna have is about, because I don't know the exact degrees, but I'd say it's about there. I think that's kind of like the perfect angle, where you're kind of like lined up, teed off with the corner of it. You don't necessarily always have to hit your front truck, but it's a lot easier if you do, it's easier to aim. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna do one, think about how it felt, and then explain to you the details of that trick. So the marks in the middle are actually more comfortable for me. It's easier for me to hit it kind of in this area and float over. But when you're learning this trick, you're probably gonna to to be closer to the edge because you're not gonna to wanna to have so much to clear. But keep in mind, you never ever wanna hit it to where your truck's gonna hit the corner. So always be at least this far from the wall when you hit it, exactly from this wheel to this wheel. So right there is like as close as you could possibly wanna to be to the wall, and definitely at an angle. So when I think of this trick, I very much think of lifting my front foot up and dragging my tail like I'm doing like a tail scrape like a and when I do that tail scrape I know that the board's gonna go vertical so I know that this front foot has to at least go to here once you get to this position on the wall you literally just push it you just push your board the board will stick to your feet the grip tape is gonna want to hold on to your feet so you go diagonally and it also helps to think you're not just hitting the wall and then drop it. You, you need to pick a point where you're going to land. And I like to think of the point maybe a foot on this side of the corner and maybe two feet out. So maybe like somewhere around here is where I'm kind of aiming for. Because if I'm just trying to hit the wall and it's like, that's fine when you're getting a feel for it, but if I'm trying to land it and I just hit the wall and I have no like end goal of where I'm going to go, a lot of times it'll make me stay behind or sometimes like I'll hit my hip on the wall if it's like a straight pillar. Uh, so for me, it helps a lot to think I gotta go out this way and I have to go this way a little bit. So this way a little bit, this way a little bit. And I don't know, it's kind of a, you kind of remove your front foot, but then the second you hit that wall, your front foot really controls where you go. And you really need to throw your momentum in the direction you're going. If you just try to like hit it and jump off, anything. If you're doing that over and over again, you have not tried the trick yet. At the very least, you should be doing it like this. Well, it sort of stays near you. I feel um, like a lot of people get like, because the thing that I had trouble with when I was learning this trick was I was really scared to get close to the wall. And then once I I conquered that that like little hump, it, it, it made all the difference. Like 
don't be afraid to get close to the wall. Yeah. You know what no, I mean? Absolutely. And that's what I love about this thing. Since there is no wall and you're walling off the corner of it, this feels ridiculously similar to doing it on a straight wall. The fact that it's slanted isn't really helping that much, but it's giving you the body weight, like muscle memory to know how to bring your leg in and go off the corner. The amount of times that I've hit my like hip or my body on the wall, I could probably count on one hand and every single one of those times is because I was either going way too fast or I was just like kind of dorking around. Like I just like was just being all flim flammy and just like lightly hit the wall. And even when that happens, it doesn't really hurt. Like you just kind of bounce off the corner and you're fine. So the danger factor for a wall is does not exist in the wall. You're not gonna like run into the wall like a coyote in a cartoon and like put your imprint in the side of it. You're literally just gonna bounce and float off the side of it. So now that we've done a couple on this, I'm actually gonna show you how to wall it off the corner of an actual wall so you can see what that looks like. So right here, an obstacle like this, if you can get your hands on an obstacle and a slight transition up to it, and in this case the wall's broken so it's also slightly slanted, this is like the perfect recipe for a learning experience on this trick after you learn it on the kicker. Now granted, probably 99% chance that you do not live in an area that has the perfect wally spot. I didn't even know this was here until Dale said, hey, now go do it on that wall, and then here it is. I'd beg to, I'd, I'd beg to differ that a lot of the people probably watching this probably live somewhere around Something this area. Like this? Well, no, just around the Southern California area, so. Full you might have the spot. Yeah, Fuller, it's in Fullerton. Yeah. This is in Fullerton. If anyone here Fullerton, come to this parking garage and you can find it exactly right here. But I'm just gonna do uh, like two off of it real quick just to show you what that would look like and then I'm gonna do it on a straight vertical wall. All right, so here it is. This is the final type of wall that you have to do. Uh, it is a straight vertical wall, it does not end, as you can obviously see, it continues. Uh, anyways, what I do like about this particular vertical wall is where this curve is, that's not a bad indication for how far that way you want to go. You want to land somewhere around, probably there. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up landing in and around this crack out this way. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly where I'm going to land, I'm going to find out just as you find out. But anywho, um, coming at it, same angle. This wall right here, the board is gonna keep us separated. The likelihood of me hitting this wall is very slim. And you're gonna see how close I get to the wall in this. I'm gonna film a couple in slow-mo, a couple in regular motion. Uh, but keep an eye on where my momentum is, where my body weight is, and what my feet do. Cause your feet do the motions of almost like an ollie, but you do not pop. You do not slide your foot up. You run into it like it's a really steep bank. The best advice I ever got was I was learning wall rides and my friend Josh Holt said, it's like doing a kick turn on a really terrible quarter pipe. This is very similar. It's like doing a launch out on a very terrible kicker. It will throw you in the air. You just gotta be ready for it. So here, I'll try one. So I know that this trick looks very aggressive. It looks like it's like a lot of action really fast, but I, trust me, it is a pretty light footed trick. The only part where you're really putting body weight into it is the initial connection to the wall, and then you're just kind of floating off of it. It's very much like kind of launch ramp. Once you hit it, you'll see in some of the clips in slow-mo how the board will kind of wobble my feet like a launch ramp or a air out of a quarter pipe would look. It feels very similar to that. Uh, as long as you commit to it, the dangers for this trick, very low. The satisfaction for this trick, very high. People love this trick. Uh, I think people always like it's a very East Coast trick. Cause well, like, it's a nice cruising trick too if you're just like oh, rolling yeah. down the street. Yeah, because yeah. you don't have to like, if you're cruising down the street and you see a set of stairs, it's like, I have to examine the stairs. How many is it? Is there a crack? A wall is a wall. You can just hit the corner. As long as, you know, it's almost like coming around the other corner and you go off the corner, that could kind of suck. But wallying lower stuff too, like stuff that's as high as the kicker that's vertical, also a great stepping stone to come to something like a pillar. Uh, straight vertical wall is the hardest thing to do it on, but most I, satisfying. Definitely the most satisfying, and it's definitely not that hard. So if you have the uh, basic board control, to be really comfortable with ollies. Possibly, uh, I don't know. If you can wall ride, you can definitely do this trick. But uh, you know, you're pretty comfortable in your feet, and uh, 
you're used to jumping down stuff with a little bit more height where the board might wobble on your feet a little bit, that's all gonna help you tremendously with this trick. But in actuality, all you really need for this trick is confidence and uh, some dedication, because it's not gonna click right away. It's definitely a slightly different board feel trick than anything else you will experience that is not wall ride or wally based. Learning curve. But definitely a learning curve. Um, but we do sell that kicker, that exact kicker that you can easily learn how to wally on on our website. So if that's a trick you wanna learn, I definitely recommend if you don't have that exact spot, uh, something like this kicker. Uh, we also have the transition ledge. We also have what we call the uh, bank bar, which is a rail that has, you know, like wally things on each side of it. That's also a good thing to learn how to wally on. But in my personal opinion, the kicker, not only is it a really good kicker, it's small, it's easy to carry out. I've been dragging it around this parking garage all day, no problem. Uh, it's great for learning wallies. So uh, I guess until next time, we'll have more tutorials for you. See you then.